my, 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 it's a beautiful world I like swimming in the sea I like to go out beyond the white breakers Where a man can still be free Or a woman if you are one I like swimming in the sea My, 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 it's a beautiful world I like drinking Irish tea With a little bit of lapsang souchon I like making my own tea My, 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 it's a beautiful world I like driving in my car I roll the top down Sometimes I travel quite far Drive to the ocean and Stare up at the stars I like driving in my car All around is anger Automatic guns Death in large numbers, no respect for women or our little ones. I tried talking to Jesus, but he just put me on hold. Said he'd been swamped by calls this week and he could not shake his cold. And still this emptiness persists. Perhaps this is as good as it gets when you've given up the drink and those nasty cigarettes now leave the party early at least with no regrets I watch the sun as it comes up I watch it as it sets yeah this is as good as it gets oh my 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 it's a beautiful world I like sleeping with Marie She is one sexy girl Full of mystery She says she doesn't love me but She likes my company For now that's good enough for me Oh my, my, my It's a beautiful world I like swimming in the sea I like to go out beyond the white breakers Where a man can still be free Or a woman if you are one I like swimming in the sea Let's join together in prayer. Precious and loving God, thank you for being with us in moments of the unknown. Precious and loving God, thank you for being the one that holds our hands when things seem unmanageable. Precious God, as we're on journeys with frustration, precious God, help us see the beauty in it all. Because when we see the beauty in the places of frustration, we see a way through the path of the valley of the shadow of death. And we see a glimpse of the table that's set beside still waters. Be with us today, God, as we go through this conversation. And in your son's precious and loving name, I pray. Amen. I picked this Colin Hay song today because... It's special to me. 
My faith is very important to me and my wife. I hold a deep-rooted blessing in the reality of the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. I hold a blessing in that. I hold a blessing in the reality that I worship a God who put on flesh and joined us and walked with us to experience the human condition. I celebrate the reality and the necessity of the living Christ. I celebrate the necessity of not just being focused on the one who conquered death, but I celebrate the necessity of the one who walked with the disciples, who cried at the knowledge of the passing of a friend, and an individual who stood in moments of conflict as an image of a difference. And I deeply celebrate the one who shared a prayer one Thursday evening of wanting a cup taken away and to have a path different. We see the entire existence of the human condition and the reality of the living being Christ. And I celebrate that. I celebrate that I don't serve a distant God, but I serve a Redeemer who loved me enough to experience being. And I want to talk about that today. I want to use Psalm 23 as the narrative of the framework as I talk to you about traveling through parts unknown as we also reflect on the words of this Colin Hay song that I uh, picked for this week, Beautiful World. If you listen through this narrative of, of this song, there is a painting of reality. There is a painting of life struggles, and there is also a painting that even within those life struggles, we live in a very, very beautiful existence, when that we can look past, look through, travel through the worries and the concerns, and we can get to a place of peace and calm that's a table set beside still waters. That's, that's why I, I picked this song this week. The narrative scripture that I'm using is Psalm 23. We've heard very frequently the words, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. And we also hear within the scripture the beautiful narrative that you set a table before my enemies beside still waters. I want to look at that because... It's easy to get lost in the frustrations. It's easy to get lost in the hurts and the pains. It's easy to get lost and distracted by everything that's not quite going the way that we want it to. And we really do exist within two choices in our being. We can choose to have a high reactionary response within our places of unknowing, or we can look for the beautiful shepherd's staff before us, guiding us through the valley of the shadow of death to get us to the place that is set beside still waters. When I began praying through this conversation today, I, I had a different narrative in mind, but as I talk about the words, a calm, high reactionary reaction, my brain shifted. I, I'd rather go on the path that my brain shifted to than to use the original narrative. I am blessed within my being of a love of popular culture to have seen many examples of low reactionary response 
deal with the, traveling through the valley of the shadow of death. I've seen in different literary characters and different television characters what it means to not allow ourselves to get caught up in the loud anger of the world that shifts around us, but to truly sit back and take a breath and to give a low reactionary response to high reactionary issues. As I look at this song, this Colin Hay song that I've picked for this week, as I look at this scripture, Psalm 23, we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, but we still walk through these dark, high reactionary places within a reality that it exists within a beautiful, beautiful faith that we can use as our foundation and look for a beautiful shepherd's staff to guide us through these high reactionary places if we allow ourselves to provide a low reactionary response. I grew up in the Southeast. I'm a child of Martinsville, Virginia. If you like NASCAR racing, uh, we still have a half-mile racetrack in Martinsville. And growing up in the Southeast, every day of my life, and the last time I went home, this still held true, the local CBS affiliate in our hometown showed at 5.30, from the day I was born to the last trip home, shows at 5.30, the Andy Griffith Show. Now, if you have any connection to this, uh, this fictitious, almost mystical land of Mayberry, you see a, a town that's full of high reactionary people, especially Deputy Barney Fife, high reaction, nip it in the bud reactionary response, high reactionary response, and individuals like Deputy Fife. We get to see high reactionary situations as Andy each weekend deals with Otis and allows him to sleep it off each weekend in the jail cell. We see Andy deal with high reactionary responses to Aunt B and other members of his local church, high reactionary responses. We see Andy deal with high reactionary situations that are outside his control as is at times that he's had to work with the the state police force out of, out of Raleigh and, and to do things. But one of the beauties within the character of Andrew Jackson Taylor is within all of these high-response people, Andy Taylor remains a low, reactionary individual. And within his ability of returning a low, reactionary response, Sheriff Taylor is able to resolve situations in such a way that it doesn't heighten the situation. And even in a more beautiful way, he has the ability of including others in the resolution that it's not just Sheriff Taylor that gets the benefits of having these situations resolved, but he's actually able to make even Barney Fife look good through his response to the situations. Andy, in some very high reactionary places, is able to create responses that resolves the situation and helps other people see the beautiful world around them, even though they're stuck in some high reactionary spots. It's the beauty of our faith. It's the beauty of this song. 
it's a beautiful world. If we allow ourselves to be caught up in the storms of the high reactionary, then we lose the peace that is provided to us in our faith. We lose the peace that Christ was still able to display after crying for his dear friend who passed away. We lose the peace that Christ was able to display as dear friends either came to him at the table asking for scraps from the master's table or his interaction with the lady at the well and calming a situation that was built upon cultural differences to empower her. Christ is even able to lighten the load of a high reactionary place of dealing with death and empowering the softest voice to carry the message for the first time and to transform the world. We celebrate these things in the reality of what our faith exists. The reality that Jesus Christ displayed by living within the human condition and displaying to us that we have the ability to sit and see the beautiful world around us. It's a beautiful thing. It is a blessed thing to have experienced this example. And and as I think about the high reactionary, uh, how, how easy it is for the high reactionary things to get us caught up in their storms, I, I have to go back to the narrative of Sheriff Andrew Jackson Taylor in dealing with his deputy, Barney Fife. Barney's response is always wanting to whip others up to get to where he is. Barney's response is always to try to bring others to the intensity that he has. He gets whipped up. He's constantly arguing and and yelling at Andy to do things in a different way, to nip it in the bud. But Andy is able to breathe even within that intensity, and draw Sheriff Fife back just enough so that he can resolve the situation properly. To see the beautiful world, even in the intense world-up storm that Deputy Fife creates. I want us to be in prayer for each other. I want us to be in prayer in such a way that we can find the beautiful worlds even in the darkest of our frustrations. I want us to be in prayer for each other that in a world of high reactionary responses that we can be the response of the low reactionary response. So I used a... um, a reference that even existed outside of my time frame. So let me use a reference that exists within the current culture. I, I am blessed to enjoy another television show that exists on Apple TV called Ted Lasso. And Ted Lasso, in, in my opinion, Jason Sudeikis has created the 21st century Andy Taylor in the being of Ted Lasso. And within that being of Ted Lasso, we see him go into a world that he has no personal connection to. Ted Lasso doesn't understand soccer. He doesn't understand European football. But he understands what coaching is, and he understands how coaching can equip other people to find their place in the narrative and how coaching can help multiple people within the unknown see the beautiful world around them. There's 
there's a challenge, and I and I you, we see this more in the character of Ted at Lasso than you, you would in Sheriff Taylor. You, you we see this this conquering of the great unknown. There's so many times that I have been in dear friend in conversations with dear friends who have shared with me. I don't think I can handle this because I do not understand it. And within that unknowing, within the battle of not understanding things, it heightens the insecurities, even the insecurities of those who have to be the ones that display the low reactionary response. You see this so much in the character of Ted Lasso. We see Ted Lasso deal with mental health issues, with emotional struggles within his character, and even within dealing with mental health issues, emotional struggles, he still finds a way to maintain a low reactionary response within the situations that he's interacting with. I am blessed beyond means by the reality of this character. I'm blessed beyond, blessed beyond means by the reality that there are two times within the being of Christ has Christ dealt with the human condition that he displayed emotional conflict. I'm blessed that Christ died at the passing of his friend, and I'm blessed by the words and the prayer of Gethsemane that he asked, Lord, if there be any other way, take this cup away from me. Christ displays the emotional conflict of trying to maintain a low reactionary response and high reactionary places, and Christ displays that there is still a way to see a beautiful world, even in the places of conflict. So now as I'm sharing these words with you, I'm also wrestling with the reality of another account in Christ being that Christ in some ways displayed a high reactionary response. And I still feel that within that high reactionary response, there was control that existed within Christ, and Christ's inner being still existed within the low reactionary presence, but was able at the right moment in the right time become the loudest voice in the room so that others could see that someone cares about them. We use quite frequently the narrative of Christ turning over the tables in the temple. That Christ visually using a high reactionary response to a situation in which that individuals were dealing with oppressive forces restricting them from the blessings of practicing their faith experience. One of the things that I know about the being of Christ is that within the being of Christ, Christ is fully aware of the situation that he's in. And I will proclaim until the day that I'm no more that Christ is always fully aware of his actions and there is no wasted motion within the being of Jesus Christ. There is no wasted actions in what Christ does. So I look at this moment that we have used so many times in Sunday school lessons or in personal uh, colloquialisms that Christ got angry. But what I want to propose to you that even in that situation, Christ was not out of control. Christ knew that there were people in power that needed to see that someone else could extract that power. And Christ knew that there were people who were disempowered by that situation 
that needed to see that there was someone that was willing to stand up. So even in the moment that we have shared that Christ gets angry and Christ turned the tables over, I still feel there exists within Christ a low reactionary presence that knew what they were doing, that was not enraged and out of control, and was able to fix the situation. As you deal with your moments of unknowing, as you deal with your moments of working through and processing and struggling with the things that have been anchors in your lives, the raging storms that are storms that are swirling around you of high reactionary spirits, I hope that you see the beautiful world and the calming low reactionary response of the being of Christ that wants to hold your hand and guide you to places of comfort. Hold on to these things. Thank you for letting me share them with you. My name is the Reverend Michael Drew Davis. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. God is love. Amen. This has been a presentation of Transcended Media.